Imagine the year 1912. The world's largest, most luxurious ship is about to set sail. This is the Titanic. Stretching nearly 900 feet long and standing taller than an 11-story building, Titanic was a marvel of the early 20th century. It was the epitome of luxury and technological prowess of its time. With its state-of-the-art design and safety features, it was touted as the unsinkable ship. The anticipation was palpable. People from all walks of life, from the wealthiest of high society to hopeful immigrants, were eager to be part of this historic journey. The maiden voyage of the Titanic was not just another transatlantic crossing, it was a symbol of human achievement, a promise of a safe and luxurious passage to the new world. Little did anyone know, this unsinkable ship would soon become a tragic legend. Building the Titanic was no small feat. It was a marvel of engineering, a testament to the technological prowess of the early 20th century. This magnificent ship was crafted from the most advanced materials of its time, including over three million rivets and a hull built of steel plates. Each plate, some as long as 36 feet, was held together by a workforce of hardy men, a testament to the human spirit and determination. Constructing this behemoth was no overnight task. It took a dedicated workforce of about 15,000 people over two years to complete. The shipyard rang with the sounds of hammering, drilling, and the occasional laughter of men who knew they were building a legend. The Titanic boasted state-of-the-art technology, from its powerful steam engines to the innovative, watertight compartments designed to keep her afloat even in the face of disaster. But the Titanic was not just a ship, it was a symbol of human ambition and ingenuity. The Titanic's maiden voyage was destined to be its last. An iceberg, a series of unfortunate decisions, and the cruel hand of fate sealed its doom. On the night of April 14, 1912, the Titanic, touted as the unsinkable ship, met an adversary it could not overcome. A colossal iceberg loomed in the North Atlantic, invisible in the moonless night. Despite warnings of ice from other ships in the vicinity, the Titanic steamed ahead at near full speed. This was a tragic oversight a failure in communication, and a lack of appreciation for the dangers that lay in the ship's path. The iceberg struck the Titanic's starboard side, buckling plates and popping rivets along a nearly 300 feet stretch of her hull. The damage was fatal, and the unsinkable ship began taking on water rapidly in the forward compartments. As the severity of the situation dawned upon the crew, attempts were made to evacuate the passengers. The Titanic was equipped with lifeboats, but not nearly enough to accommodate all on board. This was a grave miscalculation based on outdated maritime safety regulations. The evacuation was riddled with controversy. Lifeboats were launched half full, priority was given to women and children, and the wealthiest passengers seemed to have a better chance of survival. These decisions, made in the heat of the moment, have been scrutinized and debated over for more than a century. In the icy waters of the North Atlantic, the Titanic, once a symbol of human ambition and ingenuity, succumbed to nature's might. The stern rose high into the air before the ship broke apart and sank into the abyss. The screams of those left behind echoed in the freezing night, a haunting testament to the tragedy that had unfolded. In less than three hours, the Titanic was gone, taking with it more than 1,500 lives. The world was left reeling, mourning the lost souls, and questioning how such a disaster could have happened. The sinking of the Titanic was not just a maritime catastrophe, it was a stark reminder of human fallibility in the face of nature's unpredictability. The Titanic story did not end at the bottom of the Atlantic. Its legacy continues to resonate over a century later. In the immediate aftermath of the disaster, the world was shaken to its core. Newspapers worldwide echoed with the tragic headlines, and the magnitude of the loss was felt deeply. This event spurred a wave of inquiries, investigations, and tribunals, leading to significant changes in maritime regulations. The Titanic disaster was a turning point for maritime safety. The incident highlighted the stark inadequacies in the existing regulations, which had failed to keep pace with the rapid advancements in shipbuilding technology. In the wake of the tragedy, the first International Convention for Safety of Life at Sea was held in 1913, mandating sufficient lifeboats for all passengers and establishing the International Ice Patrol to monitor iceberg dangers in the North Atlantic shipping lanes. The Titanic's watery grave was discovered in 1985 lying two and a half miles beneath the Atlantic surface. This discovery sparked a resurgence of interest and led to numerous explorations and exhibitions. Artifacts retrieved from the wreck are displayed in museums worldwide, offering a tangible connection to this historical event. The Titanic has also left an indelible mark on popular culture. It has inspired countless books, documentaries, and films, 
the most famous of which is James Cameron's 1997 blockbuster, Titanic. These cultural works continue to keep the memory of the Titanic alive, reminding us of the human stories interwoven with the ship's tragic fate. The Titanic's legacy is more than just a tale of a ship that sank. It's a story of human ambition, technological prowess, and catastrophic failure. It serves as a stark reminder of our fallibility, the power of nature, and the enduring spirit of exploration and innovation. The Titanic's legacy is a stark reminder of human fallibility, the power of nature, and the enduring spirit of exploration and innovation.